Hey Rangers, welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna be talking about uh, brand new Power Ranger toys that have come out. Um, and I'm kind of very mm, on it, um, but let's have a look. But before we begin, if you like this sort of content and you wanna see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. There are a ton of videos. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we have so many. This is when you have um, blue Dino Thunder, red Mighty Morphing, and pink Dino Charge. And I kind of like them. Um, it feels like they've just come out of the blue though. It's just like, a, hey, here is a whole new line. If you don't want the Lightning Collection, you have this here. Um, and they look okay, to be fair. That They look like something that I think would be kind of cool to own. Um, I like it, it says, as seen in Beast Morphers, and, and obviously the ones below are the same thing. Um, I really like the, the the way that the figures are, um, but when you look at like the 3D image, they really remind me of well, mainly Shelby. She reminds me of everything from uh, the Bandai era, um, so I'm a bit mm, on that one. Um, but when looking at the actual figures themselves, they're completely different. And they look actually kind of cool. Um, it looks like you only just have weapons. Um, so you don't really have anything else. Um, so it's just literally just the, the no different hands, just literally put the figure, the weapons in the hand, and there you go. So let's have a look at some more stuff. The other day there was some more stuff, Mighty Morphin came out. Um, and basically it was stuff that we've seen at the Toy Fair, I think it was New York a while ago, um, where it was the weird um, like T-Rex and um, Megazord stuff that had like pegs on its knees and stuff like that. Um, so they kind of release the like the, what it looks like now press release and stuff like that And then you just basically have the the t-rex the sword uh, the sword looks absolutely fine um, And then t-rex is air. now. I think the packaging looks like ten times better But from the the kind of look of it. I, I think it it's not gonna be the greatest um, I feel like this is gonna be very kind of small, but it also looks like you're getting a kind of a two-pack so you get the Triceratops and the Sabretooth Tiger on a lovely white background. Um, and then you kind of see the like the box design. Now, it looks fine. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be a huge thing, if there's gonna be anything kind of missing, but it looks like it's a very budget one. So it kind of reminds me of like the same size as the, the body roids and stuff like that. So the box looks fine. And then obviously, you well, uh, and then the next stage is that you have um, in a lovely packaging, you have the Mastodon and the Pterodactyl. So it's kind of nice that you don't have to buy each one individually because that would suck. Like literally if it was like $15.99 or like in dollars um, separately. Um, the back kind of looks fine. It's like, it combined. And then it's like, oh, hey, look at this. And then look at that. This is what we've got. Um, it looks okay, but it's something that I think that I won't be collecting myself um, so I think I'm gonna be skipping that one so looking kind of on Twitter there's quite a few things and I'm gonna put all these links in the description down below so you can check them out um, but um, I'm looking at um, Razzle 1337 and he says from Jen ONG on Facebook in Singapore uh, which is 80 SG, uh, SGD which is around about $60 we look at the Zeo Megazord and it's kind of out and it looks okay um, like the Zero Megazord, like the picture in the box, like the box looks really, really nice, but I feel like maybe this is the line that they, they're going down, even though it's just highly poseable. Um, it looks fine. Um, like it shows you like you get the different heads um, and then obviously you get like the Megazord can be posed, which is absolutely fine. Uh, it doesn't look like it's not gonna, it's not gonna like separate so it's all combined. And then we can see here on uh, Power Ranger Talk um, what the actual Zeo Megazord looks like. And it looks fine. It just to me feels, I don't know, it, it feels very kind of playmatey in a way. Like, I don't know, it doesn't seem right. Uh, so, something seems off to me a little bit, but it kind of reminds me very similar to what the, the Bandai one looked like originally. So like when it combines with the different heads, like the, the cannon on the head, <laughs> so weird. Um, and then you've got the different kind of modes. I do kind of like it. Um, I think what would have been interesting is you've got the bull head that you could take the bull off the crotch and then you've got the helmet on there. I, I can't remember if that happened in Zeo. 
um, if that was one of the main things, but it would have been cool. But doing a kind of comparison size um, compared to the original toys, I actually generally like it. Like the original Bandai of the Red Battlezord is a lot smaller. It looks kind of, it fits in with the rest of them, which I think is the main thing. So I think we're going to probably see two lines. We're going to see the all, is it the metal uh, line, which was the Thunder Megazord, and then this is going to be something completely different as well. So maybe there's going to be two kind of lines. So that's fine. The next thing here is that we have Rexy. Um, from uh, Dino Charge and it's Dino Charge T-Rex Zord, which is something I didn't expect. Um, so I saw some other pictures along like, the lines um, of like the kind of press shots that they've done. And it just looks like a standard Zord that doesn't really do anything. Um, but apparently you can make it bend down <laughs> when you put the finger on the back of the neck. Um, I just think that it just seems really kind of weird that we're getting all this sort of stuff kind of now. Um, you know, even the box doesn't really say stuff. So I'm, I'm guessing that they're bringing out all the, the Beast Morpher toys right now. Um, I don't know if all, all the, uh, the prices apart from like one or two have been kind of released as well. So I don't know on that one, but from the looks of it, it looks fine. Um, I generally kind of really like the, the thought of it. I think to be honest, that that's about it. Uh, maybe this is the, the last part that we're seeing. Um, I feel like. Hasbro could be doing a better job in telling people about this, um, you know, rather than kind of just announce it and let other countries kind of release it and then kind of filter through. Maybe that's how they're doing the marketing for this one. It's just, hey, we don't care. We're not going to pay. We're just going to let you guys uh, find it in the wild and happy days for that one. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of like what coming out the kind of the three pack ranges of, of Dino Thunder, MMPR and Dino Charge that that kind of interested me quite a bit. I was like, oh, this sounds really cool. I kind of really want that. Um, so I'm very kind of happy that we're getting something like that. Kind of reminds me of the old days with um, like the like just normal figures and stuff. So <clears throat> will, uh, will it come out here in the UK? Who knows? Is it going to be something fun? Who knows? But I'm going to be following it, going to be seeing what happens and then kind of like take it from there. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. It's just kind of this is a, a quick ish update of, of what we've seen um, so we can definitely see it um, and then get what your kind of thoughts are. What do you think about all these toys? Do you think Hasbro should be releasing more information about these products coming out or do you think it's just let it come in the wild and you know what comes out comes out and then Hasbro later can catch up? Let me know down below in the comments and if you like this sort of content and you want to see more videos because so far there's quite a lot. Let me know down below in the in the comments uh, I'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video